How well do you know yourself? Knowing your purpose will guide you to knowing how to simplify your life and understanding who you are will help you define your purpose. So in this video, I will give you five steps on knowing yourself more so that you can better understand your purpose, which will guide you in simplifying your life. Welcome. I'm Maria, and if you are feeling overwhelmed and burdened and would like tips about simple living for a healthy life, then you have come to the right place. So as I started simplifying my own life, I often wondered what or how to simplify. When you're starting out, this task can be overwhelming and you may not know where to start. I could tell you to pick a room or a drawer or a box and then just start checking things that no longer matter. However, even after I did this, I either still felt cluttered or things started accumulating again and this process became repetitive. So I'm going to ask you to start with the one place where all the clutter, burdens, and excess originated. And this place is yourself. I think that knowing ourselves is important to help us find purpose. And then once we know our purpose, we will know where and what to simplify. Here are five steps that can help you better define your identity. First, write down all the roles that you have. Write down all the titles that you are on a regular basis, daily, weekly, and even monthly. What are these roles that identify who you are and what you do? For example, for my work, I'm a professor, coach, and content creator. For my personal life, I'm a wife, mother, daughter, and friend. For fun, I'm a gardener and organizer. I'm also a cat mom. What are your roles? Second, write down your beliefs, values, and interests. Write down what shapes your regular decisions and mindset. Behind our roles, we are shaped in our thinking by our belief and value systems and our interests. So for me, my thoughts and perspectives are shaped by my faith, my culture, and interest in human psychology and how that influences our health and life choices. I'm also interested in living a simple and healthy lifestyle. Speaking of which, if you're interested in simple living for a healthy life, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any content. And if this video is helping you so far, please hit the like button so YouTube can share this with others. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Third, from this list, highlight everything that is important to you and that you enjoy. Ask yourself, what would you like to do on a regular basis? No one's looking, so be honest with yourself. You can add things here too. Take your time and dream a little. For me, everything I listed before is important, except for all that I need to do as a professor. I honestly don't love everything about this job, especially grading, but my two favorite activities through this role are teaching and motivating students, so I try to have more time for that. And if I could add something personal, it would be more time to travel. Fourth, rank these items in order of importance. Something to note here is that this ranking will change over time. For example, when my children were young, my role as a mom was more involved as I cared for their needs and spent more time with them. Now my children are grown up and my youngest is getting ready to go to college, so my role as a mom is much less. I will always be here for my kids, but they definitely don't need me the way they did when they were young. And fifth, circle the items that you spend the most time on. You may be circling items that you highlighted or ones that you didn't. Estimate the amount of time spent on these items. Ask yourself, what do you spend the most time on? Does the time you spend on your activities align with the roles and interests that are important to you? What do you want to spend more time on? What things do you spend time on that don't support your identity that you need to decrease or eliminate? For example, I was spending time watching TV shows or movies in the evening, which is fun, but I found that I spent a lot of time each week doing this activity. Meanwhile, I wanted to learn video making and website building skills. When I looked at the amount of time I spent being passively entertained versus time spent on what is important, it wasn't aligning with who I wanted to be. So I adjusted my habit of plopping myself on the couch every night with my bowl of popcorn and spent more time towards my goals. Do I still watch TV shows? Of course, 
but now I limit myself to a few evenings a week after I have achieved my goals because looking back one day, I don't think I will wish that I watched more shows, but hopefully I will thank myself for creating something meaningful. By understanding who we are, we can find our purpose. Then knowing our purpose will help us know what to keep and what to reduce or eliminate in terms of what we possess and how we spend our time. Then when we plan each day, we can ask if the task at hand serves a purpose before adding it to our day. Identifying our roles and seeing what we do on a daily basis can help us eliminate things that don't contribute to who we are. For me, understanding myself better has helped me let go of some things such as my books on decorating ceramics or cartooning because I gave those things up years ago. Have trouble identifying what is important to you? Watch this video next to help you figure this out. Thanks for watching and subscribe for future videos.